Breaking news in Baltimore, Maryland. A container ship crashed into a major bridge there overnight, forcing it to collapse. Several people are still missing. President Biden says the collision does not appear to be intentional. KTLA's Eric Spillman is live in the newsroom with the very latest. Eric, good morning. Morning, Alina. We're waiting for a briefing from, from the uh, National Transportation Safety Board. We could get some more details on what happened on board that container ship just before the collision. We've already learned that the crew put out a mayday call just before the ship slammed into that bridge. The crew reported that the vessel had lost power and there's a report that they dropped anchor to try and slow down or stop right before the collision. Let's take a live look now at the scene. The container ship sitting in the water next to the wreckage of the bridge. There's a massive search underway involving Coast Guard boats, helicopters, drones and dive teams. The fire chief says that using infrared and sonar, crews have located five vehicles underwater. One of them is a cement truck. Authorities say six construction workers were up there on the bridge repairing potholes at the time. They are still missing and the water is a chilly 47 degrees and 50 feet deep. President Biden spoke minutes ago. He says the Army Corps of, Engineer will work, uh, Corps of Engineers will work on clearing the channel so that the Port of Baltimore can reopen and he says the federal government will pay the entire cost of rebuilding the bridge. We're incredibly grateful for the brave rescuers who immediately rushed to the scene and to the people of Baltimore who want to say, we're with you. We're going to stay with you as long as it takes. I want to show you the moment the disaster happened. It was 1.30 a.m. Baltimore time. The container ship, the Dolly, struck a pillar of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing the entire structure to collapse into the water. The lights of the ship flickered, and then it veered off course just before the accident. At the time of the collision, the ship was being steered by local pilots who specialize in getting these large ships from the port to open water. Authorities are confirming now that sometime just before the crash, someone on board the ship made an emergency call to say that the ship had lost power. That could explain why it swerved into one of the support pillars of the bridge. Now, CNN is also reporting the ship dropped anchor as a safety measure just before the impact. Rescue crews arrived immediately. They were able to pull two survivors out of the water in the minutes just after the collision. One of them was not hurt. The other is in serious condition at the hospital. The ship involved in the crash is registered in Singapore. It was on a journey from Baltimore to Sri Lanka. Francis Scott Key Bridge was built in 1977. It's part of Interstate 695 and a lot of people depend on it. This is a place that is a normal commute route for over 30,000 Marylanders every single day. And so to hear the words that the Key Bridge has collapsed, it's shocking um, and heartbreaking. The governor this morning, uh, as well as the president, saying it's going to be a major undertaking to rebuild that bridge, but they are promising they will get the job done as soon as possible. Back to a live picture now. Nobody on board the ship was hurt. The governor says this whole thing could have been much worse. He says after the Mayday call was made just before the collapse, workers stopped cars from continuing onto the bridge, and he says that quick response definitely saved lives. He called those people heroes. This morning, the Port of Baltimore is closed indefinitely. This is an important trade hub. It ranks number one in the U.S. for the number of new cars and light trucks that it handles.